Hello everybody. I lost my tripod so I will have to record old fashioned way manually. I bought myself a Steel MS311 chainsaw. Mine came uh, with a 16 inch Light 04 uh, guide bar and chain and uh, I already spent one fuel tank of fuel and uh, I'm pretty happy with power and throttle response everything is amazing uh, I had really high expectations but this absolutely exceeded them big time uh, it can uh, officially it can be run with 16 inch bar 40 centimeters uh, 16 inch 45 centimeters and 20 inch 50 centimeters guide bar and chain uh, chain is 3 8 rs3 teeth are pretty big and uh, here is the look around I will talk about some key features that are very, very important for steel and for this particular model. For example, all steel chainsaws today come with Elasto Start, which is a spring that helps you to easier pull a cord because of a compression, of a first compression which is like very very high and besides that it has it has IntelliCarb which uh, compensates for the dirty air filter so your maintenance intervals are extended by far next feature is decompression valve helps you a lot with pulling especially the first the first stroke the first compression stroke because for example let's pull it out this is deactivated look at this compression but look at this Huge difference, isn't it? So, with first start, use a decompression valve to release the compression so it will be much easier to pull start. And the starting procedure is press the compression valve, uh, press the decompression valve, full throttle, and choke full choke. You pull it few times until it makes burp. then go to half choke, still has some throttle. You pull it one or two times, it will rev and then to run, just press the throttle, it goes to run. To stop it, just pull up and that's it. That's how that works. Some key features of this model. Big dog. This really helps. This really helps when you're pivoting your chainsaw in the log. So you don't need to use your body strength to pivot it inside the log. Just it's going to push itself in and just tilt a little bit your chainsaw up and down and it will cut like a butter. Besides that, here is another quick, quick stop. The chain won't spin immediately and 
this is regular the chain runs the chain stops this quick stop system reacts in case of a kickback and it will automatically activate the brake immediately in split of a second and chain will stop this is very helpful in case of a kickback unexpected that could cause very very bad injuries here is another feature of this chainsaw a huge chain catcher a huge chain catcher in case of your chain derails look mine is a little bit sloppy need to tighten it up but in case the chain derails or breaks this is going to catch it so it doesn't cut your leg very useful feature as you can see <coughs> i've been using this i spent about one fuel tank not that much uh here inside i don't see it now here here behind uh, I can't see it because of dirt there inside is a little screw for adjusting the oiler I adjusted my oiler to oil more so in case of a dry wood my uh, chain and uh, chain guide won't burn this is part of a anti-vibration system by Stil, which reduces the vibration and fatigue because see this this those springs are those springs and bushings are part of Stil's anti-vibration system which prevents the fatigue from a prolonged use by the way this is not a professional unit this is like farmer unit this is not a homeowner or professional unit this is a farm unit which means a stronger chainsaw for a longer use but not for uh, 12 hours a day, 6 days a week. Because uh, compared to a professional unit, this is uh, heavier with less power compared to professional. This is 59cc engine with 3.1 kilowatts or 4.2 horsepower. And... I'm very happy with it. Uh, I still didn't run it full throttle because it's still not broken in. I just spent one fuel tank and uh, uh, I just spent one fuel tank and uh, I plan to uh, break it in more before I push it full throttle to, uh, to see what is it capable of but uh, i tried during the cutting of wood uh, a little bit of throttle and as it's cutting when i increase the throttle in the middle of the wood it pulls like crazy so very very happy with this chainsaw sorry because i don't have a tripod i lost it but i really love this chainsaw one another feature just a moment i'm back here's another key feature that people usually don't know about this air filter it if it's clogged uh partially intellicarb in which is intelligent system will uh suck the air from the cleaner side and uh, you will have full power for a longer time. But when the air filter gets clogged, you need to 
take it off, pop it right off, then blow it inside out and then pop it back in. And then pop it back in. You can, uh, if there is some stubborn dirt, you can take it out and wash it in soapy water, dry it, and then, then return it in its place. But in case it, if this rips anywhere, replace it immediately. The replacement interval is between two and three years depends how much do you use it so this is throttle and this is the choke and you can see it working of course Here, I hope you can see this screw here I'm touching is the Euler adjuster, the Euler adjusting screw. The next key feature I forgot to mention is side mounted chain tensioner. The reason is this chainsaw has a dog so it's almost impossible to adjust chain there so their smart idea was to put the chain tensioner on the side you just need to release these nuts a little bit tighten your chain but the way to properly tighten the chain is now I will show you how to properly tension the chain and I will start up my chain. But forgot one another feature, the fuel tank is see-through. You can see the fuel level up to here. One more key feature. To properly adjust the chain, step up here, loosen the nuts, just the finger tight, here the key is to pull this up and tighten a little bit needs more still loose a little more like this this is the proper tension when teeth can't derail but they are not too tight so first tighten the rear one and then front one and looks good to me now the proper way to start up this chainsaw first compression valve is in okay full choke like this as I showed you like this Now the decompression valve popped off and the chain popped off. Now half the choke, just one pop of the choke up. Like this.
I just demonstrated you guys the steel anti-vibration system. The chainsaw was jumping on the ground and the handlebar steady.